Hi folks. After I posted that last sniper training video, I had a question commit about the vest I'm wearing in the very last photo that goes by. So I thought I would do a quick review on this vest just to put some information out if anyone else was curious about it. This vest that I'm wearing is made by Leapers and it's their UTG SWAT vest. Um, it's very similar, if you ever looked at the, Bla at the Blackhawk tactical vest, it's very similar to theirs, but it's much less expensive. This vest has many, many storage areas for all kinds of different things. Starting at the very top here, I've got this small pouch that is just perfect for a small cell phone, which is exactly what I keep in there. Uh, even though when I deploy I have a radio, I always have secondary communications with me because all of you know if you've been on any number of tactical operations at all, your radio is a maybe, maybe not proposition. Uh, you need to have something for backup communication. I keep a cell phone in that pouch. Moving down, I've got the small, these are actually intended for pistol magazines here. I don't keep pistol magazines in there. I've got a knife in this pouch. I've got a multi-tool in this pouch, which can come in handy for all kinds of different things. In this pouch, I keep empty. This would be for a Nutrigrain bar or something like that that I wanted to stick down in there just in case I was going to be out for a long time and I might get hungry, need to have something a little bit to eat. So those, these are the pouches here. The pouch on this side would be good for handcuffs, would be good for a small notepad. Um, what I keep in here actually is shotgun ammunition. And there's a Velcro strip on the front of this. I put the police patch on there. When you get these vests, they actually come with several cartridge loops across the front that you could use to carry spare ammunition uh, if you wanted to in there. I choose to keep the ammunition inside the pouch. Moving down, I've got the pistol holster on this side. The pistol holster, I like. It holds the pistol securely. I've got my M&P pistol in here right now. And I do have a magazine pouch on here with a spare magazine inside for the pistol. The only thing I don't like about the pistol holster is I wish it had a thumb brake release here in order to get it out. It doesn't. The pistol snaps, or the holster rather, snaps here to keep it in place. Now your pistol is a backup weapon in a tactical operation, so usually you're not going to be quick drawing it. Uh, but I do wish I had that option of a thumb brake right there. It's one of the few criticisms I have of this particular vest. On the other side, I've got spare magazines for my AR. And they fit just perfectly down in there. The magazine pouches are just right for that. Now, if you don't want to carry a pistol or you don't want to use this holster, you can remove the holster and you can replace it with more AR-15 size magazine pouches on this side of the vest. Now you notice up here on my shoulder there is this rubberized area. Uh, this is for your weapon as you're bringing it up to mount to your shoulder and it's got this small piece right here that uh, is right along the edge basically to help lock your weapon in place. I wasn't sure I was going to like this. In fact, I kind of thought that I might not like it just because I w never had anything on my shoulder before like that that I had to worry about when I index my weapon stock to uh, lock it in there. As it turns out, I like this a lot. Even with my sniper rifles, I like having that rubberized piece right there that keeps that weapon from moving around when I'm shooting, so I do like that. On my left side is another AR-15 magazine pouch. This one I actually use for my radio, and the radios we use fit very well down in there. I can drop that in, run the uh, uh, shoulder mic up around behind my shoulder, hook it onto the side here, and it's very easy to use when I'm out in position. Speaking of getting into position, um, one of the things you might think of when you look at this vest, and knowing that I'm a, I deploy as a sniper, uh, if I'm laying prone, I've got all of this stuff that I'm going to be laying on. That's actually not the case. When I get into, when I move into position, I have everything just like this. When I get to my position, I simply open the vest like this to the side and I can lay down right on my uniform here so there's nothing underneath me, I'm flat on the ground and I don't have all this stuff underneath me while I'm laying prone, uh, assuming that I'm getting into a prone position. So that's not a concern. There are some inside storage compartment, compartments rather on the vest that you can use for other gear that you're carrying. 
I have a zipper pouch on both sides. And in the back, there's also, I don't think you can see it, but you can put a hydration pack down inside the back. So you do have that option as well. Now, obviously, everything you put in here makes the vest heavier and heavier and heavier. Uh, and you have to be cognizant of that if you're going to be moving a long ways. But you do have a lot of options with this vest as far as what you can carry with you. Now, as you can see, I've taken the time to clearly mark my vest so that it's obvious that I'm a police officer when I have this on. Um, and I suggest if you're going to use this in an official capacity, you do the same thing. You don't want to have any confusion if someone sees you and can't identify you quickly as a law enforcement officer. The construction of this vest is a fairly heavy nylon, uh, nylon mesh, and it has a pretty heavy duty zipper here in front, so I'm not worried about damaging it or tearing it or ripping it apart when I'm out moving around, crawling, or doing whatever I'm doing. One of the things that I've replaced with this vest, or, or at least I've changed the way I use it, is my rapid response bag. I used to have everything, spare magazines, spare ammo, ready to go in a bag, so if something happened, I could grab the bag, run out quick, and I would have everything with me that I needed to deploy with. Instead, what I've done now is set the vest up this way. So, as you can see, I've got all of my spare ammunition, all of my equipment, everything already staged in the vest. All I have to do now is throw this on, zip it up, grab a weapon, and I'm out the door. In an active shooter scenario or something like that, I can respond very, very quickly, and I have everything with me that I might need for that type of an emergency situation. Another nice thing about the vest, it has almost an infinite amount of adjustability to it. This vest actually, you can tell, it's a little big. The reason I have it this way is because I can actually put a patrol vest on underneath here and have some ballistic protection along with being able to carry all my gear. Um, and the adjustability of the vest is what allows that. I could tighten it up so it fit better now, but I like the, having that ability to put a uh, uh, ballistic vest underneath this when I'm actually out deploying. The vest has more places back here. You can mount additional gear to carry. You could also use this if you wanted to attach some kind of ghillie material or something like that to help with the camouflage. Um, it comes in the uh, Marpat camouflage, as you can see on this vest. Uh, it also comes in several other camouflage patterns as well as OD green and flat black. So you have quite a, a uh, selection as far as what you might want to uh, go with as far as your camouflage or the color that you choose. And of course the vest has the obligatory drag strap back here in the back. If somebody needs to latch onto you and try to drag you out of somewhere. If somebody's able to grab this and drag me by pulling it, um, they're probably a stronger person than I am, I can say that. But that, that is on there, that eventuality should come about. Again, this is the UTG SWAT vest made by Leapers. Uh, it retails, give or take, right around $50. You can find it on uh, Amazon. You can find it in a lot of the uh, tactical type catalogs that you might see or a lot of different websites. Um, it is a lesser expensive option uh, as compared to something like the Blackhawk. And at least for my purposes, it works very well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Good shooting. Bye-bye.